I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Con out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, or those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse. If his guards ever opened fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast fair and leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero-emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a chorus back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. You're looking lovely tonight. Let it never be said I don't take you anywhere nice. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Liara. Time to meet the riffraff.
So push my tour of the camp from one o'clock to three, route to three o'clock. Five, ten minutes to leave. Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Use this. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. The splice is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and... In we go. Commander. What? There's a guard right below me. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the ladies' room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games bionically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, ma'am. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. We've got this. I bring greetings from the consort Shaira. She instructed me to schedule a session. I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silence alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm. But you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Arrows? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you a security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You. Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get... to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky, just so you know. Have a little faith. I can distract him. Tell me when. You look hungry. They have fat grown swordfish in the restaurant. Shall I save you a bite? I wouldn't turn that down. Hey, who told you I like fat fish? You have a good night now. Those cufflinks. Is that design inspired by late period Inusanan artwork? The attention to detail is remarkable. Um, I guess. They were a gift. Are they valuable? You have a good night now.
Khan, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? I see this conversation will be strictly one-sided. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it! Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back? Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Name a time and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguises for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Thank you, Shepard. That was fun. Well, not so much for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs>